I guess the thing that I want to say here is that they touched me in a way that nobody else ever did. One of the things about my life which has been long and complicated is that for 25 years I was a, a preacher in the Methodist Church. Uh, a, a lay preacher, not a ordained, but in the Methodist Church we have this system of, of, of ordinary people can train and they lead worship, teach, preach, do all the rest. I developed a style that was kind of based on storytelling rather than sermonising and I found more and more that the music that I was growing up with that was soundtracking my life was beginning to influence the way I was thinking and was beginning to inspire the stories and the teaching. So for example, um, the song Estonia that by pure chance is happening to play in the background. Um, that sparked an idea for a story that led into an Easter Sunday service um, about a woman whose child and husband were lost on the boat and she was left with the child's teddy bear. A devout Catholic woman facing supposedly the greatest festival of life and a new birth in the sense of being devastated. That song, and particularly the lyric, No One Leaves You When You Live In Their Heart and Mind, triggered all sorts of things inside my mind, um, which led into me questioning why he wrote the lyric in that way. Why, why, why should it be no one dies when you live in their heart and mind? Shouldn't it be when they live in your heart and mind? and I started analysing the way that we inhabit somebody, the way we put part of ourselves into somebody else in the love that we have. And that led into a whole service about redemption and about coping with grief and about coming to terms with things that have happened. In the latter years, my life has changed radically. I began to think about moving to Wales with my wife and four years ago we made the decision to do that, to go and set up a guest house, uh, a B&B. &B. And Happiness is the Road was the album that was out at the time. And I found myself coming back to the album time and time and time again. I think sometimes you realise how you touch us. And I think sometimes you understand what it is you do to us. But I suspect truly you have no idea how you have reached into people like me and changed us. Um, and I like to think for the better. So thank you, and um, please keep doing it for as long as we all can.